everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back. Today I'm making a head chain. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but they're like the little decorative necklaces that you wear on your hair. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please consider subscribing and we'll get right into it. This is everything you're going to need for the project. I've got my multi-purpose tool. This is a little packet of, they're called findings. It's basically when you lose something, like it helps you like fix an earring. It's got the little um, round things to fix a chain. It's got the little clasps. Um, if you broke something on your dangly earring, it's got something to, to make that. They're really cheap. You can find them almost anywhere, and they just come in little packs like this. And then I also found this necklace, which I don't know why I was drawn to it because it's not really my style, but it's basically like almost like a necktie. Um, but then I realized that it unties, and it's just a long thing of chains and chain link pearls. So then I was like, oh, I can definitely make something with that. So I grabbed that, and that's all you're going to need for this. So starting out, I just took the necklace out of the package and then I untied it and that's what you're left with. It's six little gold chains with some gold linked pearls and a clasp on the back. So what I'm going to do, this is actually a lot of material. I'm going to unclasp it and just be working with one half of the necklace and then I'll keep the other half for a project later. What I noticed working with this necklace is that all of the chains were on one side of the pearls and stuck with the loop. So what I wanted to do is change that and put half of the chains on one side of the pearls and half the chains on the other. So it's really easy to just loop them through that center o-ring there. And I just did that one at a time and they did like to get kind of caught, but it was really fast. And what it left me with was a pearl strand down the center and then three strands on either side of it and that's going to give me some symmetry in my head chain so that's really good and I'm just going to loop them through uh, one right after the other until they're all set. So after all of your chains are attached you're going to want to grab your findings kit and pull a little o-ring out of that. Next up measure how long you want the pearls to go across your head just open up the links with your multi-purpose tool and remove any excess pearls beyond that and attach the o-ring that you just took out of the findings kit to the end of the pearls and this is going to be what you're attaching the chains to for mine i want the pearls to go down the center the chains are going to kind of drape along the sides at different angles so the majority of this headpiece i just did a rough uh, estimate with i basically put the pearls down my head and then pulled the chain slightly down let it sag kind of to the side maybe about an inch and that was the length for it so i cut the first one there now i'm just making sure to line it up because that's going to be the ones closest to the pearls and i want to make sure i get my matching chain on the other side the one absolutely closest to the pearls pull it out and trim that to the same length and at this point, I want to attach that to my pearls. So what I'm going to do for that is to make sure that everything's untwisted, pull those two chains down next to the pearls, and just attach the very, very last link on them to that o-ring that I've put on the end of the pearls. The most important part is just to make sure that you keep each chain on the proper side. So attaching them is really easy. You just take your multi-purpose tool and open up that little link and then just push it right through. Keep them on both sides and then what you're going to want to do, what I did, is close the link each time. Because if you leave it open, that's just super easy for the, the chains or the pearls or the link itself to kind of slide out of place. So just closing it in between. And after you get the first two chains set, you're going to want to measure the next set of chains, the ones in the middle on each side of the pearls, making them slightly larger than your original chain was so they hang further down the head on either side. And make sure that you pull out the middle chain on the other side too, making sure everything is like straight, not twisted at this point is really important. So you have the middle chains on both sides, make sure they're the same length, and you're going to attach them to the o-rings the same way that you attach the first ones. And once you get the, all those attached and set, you're going to be working on the third set of chains. And you want to cut those the longest out of all three pairs and attach them to the o-ring just like you did the first two sets. And this is the vast majority of the project done. At this point, it looks like a really cute choker or necklace or something you could wear around your throat. Um, what I want to do is kind of give it that unique head 
had changed shape so it needs like a little gem at the front so I just took four pearls and I'm just going to open up the loops on them and attach them in a little loop around the front of the o-ring link that I have and this is going to serve two purposes one it's cute and the other one is I'll be able to tell the front from the back but they just loop on very easily and then it gives it a little bit more visual interest in the front of the headpiece and once that's on and secure, I'm going to move to the back of the chain. And I really don't need the clasp from the necklace anymore, that kind of trailing train leading off. I did that so that I was able to tell what the top and the bottom was. So I'm just going to twist one of the links off with my multi-purpose tool. And that's it. That's the whole head chain. It's all set. It's beautiful. And I'm super excited about it. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I love it, it's definitely one of my favorites. I'm gonna be posting some pictures on it at the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I'm gonna post everything you need to make this down in the description along with my socials. And I'll see you soon, bye.